HVA. I'm here at uh, Carnoustie with Drew Weaver, the reigning uh, British amateur champion. Drew, uh, you turned up at Royal Lytham a month ago, first taste of Lynx golf, you became the first American in 28 years to win the championship. How does this course compare to uh, Royal Lytham? There, there's some definite similarities. Um, it's you know, 500 yards longer, which is uh, a big difference. Uh, but it's, it's tough. I mean, if you hit fairways out here, it's a big advantage and you can definitely make some birdies, but uh, you know, like Lytham, there's going to be a premium on driving accuracy this week, definitely. And I guess the other bunkers is a... Yeah, the bunkers are, are deep and uh, if you get in a fairway bunker, you have to take your medicine and just get it back in the fairway. You can't really get much more than a 9 iron wedge out of them. Because you managed to do that pretty well at uh, Royal Lytham mm -hmm. over uh, six days. Um, I know you played with Stuart Sink and JJ Henry yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, Justin Leonard and Davis Love today. What advice did they give you? Yeah, they gave me some really good advice on just how to manage my game and how to manage you know, practice rounds and not really how to, not overdoing it. Um, it's, there's so many opportunities to practice out here. I mean, you, if you want, you can play 90 holes of practice yeah. rounds. Um, but the key is to pace yourself and get ready and do what's best for your own game. And, um, you know, with a place as awesome as this and, you know, practice areas as wonderful as these, uh, you can you can definitely overwork yourself. But they, they told me just to pace it, pace yourself, enjoy the week, and, you know, have a good time. And how do you stay calm? when you're playing with heroes. I mean, just Leonard Davis Love. Yeah, <laughs> I mean. Def definitely idols. Uh, it's it's tough, um, you know, because if you hit a bad shot here or there, you're thinking, oh. these guys think I'm terrible. Uh -huh. But they're not, you know that. But right, right. But deep down, you're thinking, oh, I don't want to embarrass myself. Right, you know, those thoughts definitely come across, but, um, you know, it's nice to go out there and just play your own game and realize that, you know, if I hit a good shot, it's just as good as theirs. So, mm -hmm. um, it's nice to see how my game is compared to theirs. Yeah, and how did Dad stay calm? Because I know he caddied for you at the Royal Lytham. Yeah. John's dad, John, was on the bag this week. How did he stay calm with those, uh, with those idols? Yeah, I mean, he, he did well. He kind of chatted it up with him a bit, and um, I think he enjoyed getting to know him pretty well. They, you know, all those guys are so, so nice, and yeah. you know, they offer pretty much any advice you want, so. Um, it was nice for my dad and I to be able to pick their brains a little bit. Yeah, they make you feel at ease, don't you? That's and it. I know you, you picked uh, Ian Porter's uh, brains at dinner with him last yeah. night. He passed on some good advice. So I'm just relate to the advice he passed on last night. Yeah, I mean, he he said, you know, don't ever do it. And uh, he asked me how long I've been at the golf course to the, yesterday, and I was here from 8 a.m. to I guess around 10:30 yeah. uh, for the dinner. So um, I spent probably I've spent probably a little too much time you know, practicing this week, but. I think um, you know, I've, I've got to take advantage and really uh, you know, get as prepared as possible. Enjoy. But you know, in the future, I definitely will scale down my practice rounds and uh, you know, play, play, play more nine-hole rounds. Yeah, things so like when that. you go to Augusta, you'll scale back a bit. It'll be hard <laughs> to, though, won't it? be hard to, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get a few extra practice rounds in there, too. So. And last word of advice that came from Patrick Harrington last night as you left the dinner. Yeah. His, his was the most important piece yeah, of advice. Yeah, he said enjoy it, but do well. I mean, do more than enjoy it. And, uh, I really want to take advantage of this opportunity. I mean, obviously, I'm going to have a huge amount of fun tomorrow and Thursday and Saturday and Sunday, I, I believe. But um, I really want to go out there and play well. Uh, that's that's my main goal this week. I mean, if I play well, I'm going to open up a lot of a lot more doors. Um, and you know, it'd be a, you know, it's a great stage to go out there and, and play good golf on. So I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. Well, thanks for talking to us. You got it. And good luck this week. Thanks yeah. a lot. Go for it. Thank you.